So, time to do some more raid mode. E. Oh my god, this is good coffee. Holy shit. That's, that's one thing we know how to do here, is make good cold coffee. should have a different daily mission, right? It's the same fucking map. start. Yeah, this is the same fucking thing. This is the exact same map. Exact same run. They haven't changed shit. your player level, even though I was supposed to uh, play that at one level less, right? said my consumables would be reset, didn't it?
Defense low health. Weak to critical hits. Got the knockback. Uh, no, really? I, I just have to guess the weak points? looks like. spawns in here. into a maze. Not only is it hard to see, but it's also a fucking maze now. <laughs> regular zombos? Stink foot. Got the stink foot one.
see you in these friggin' bushes. don't know what spawned. This is not a fun map. If it was just a little bit brighter, maybe, maybe a few more lighting elements. Yeah, this, this needs more lighting elements. When you're playing this, uh, this stage during the daytime, you cannot see shit. Okay, so there's zombos. I didn't you fucking see you have an afflicted, I think.
always in the last place you shoot. I guess I got all three blueprints.
<laughs> I hit him with an evade.
uh, three minutes for five enemies. Should be good. see what I'm facing because the fucking door symbol. some time. Anything up here? No? Nope. That one was easier than the previous timed one. Just because the way it's arranged. not getting any guns with the uh, blueprints here. Uh, the albums. on the uh, machine guns and assault rifles.
supposed to slow down before town. You're supposed to use your J brake out of town. You're supposed to slow down before so you don't make a bunch of fucking noise. Jackass. literally on the oh this oh, okay yeah this this was a fun area in Resident Evil 6 Floating. That's awesome. That's awesome. I got a glitch to happen. I'll okay. It's awesome. It's not the sound glitch. <laughs> from here, but yet he can toss those. I can't hit him here. Wow. I cannot hit him from here with bullets, but yet he can lob those big fucking things in.
damn thing. Looks like they're in sync. Why? I evaded to the left! Why? Why didn't she go left? I was evading right here, I held left and pressed B, and she like evaded in place. What the hell? Oh, this needs work. Holy crap.
Oh my god. First shotgun. First shotgun. Such a great 3DS game. Huh. Wonder how this looks on 3DS. Barrier. One of the worst fucking ones, man. That that is one of the worst ones. Oh, she got Handgun Master. Finally, all skill... All skills are uh, non-herb related. Keep upgrading that. Oh, who'd I unlock? Gil Valentine. Okay. In sort of almost the Resident Evil 5 outfit, I guess. Probably gonna be another holdout. Oh! Resident Evil 6 Casino! Not afflicted. I just wanna explore the map first. Come on, guys. Put me in dicks. Okay, can't open the door. Two blueprints right off the bat. Stunned, but you couldn't kick him 
down. I, I don't know what that was about. using those. you don't keep the blueprints. Okay. You know, it tells me to recharge my consumables, even though at the end it said that, you know, they'd be reset. So, uh... That's lame. That should help a little bit, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the different player levels does, but... He was dead.
damn it. Really fucking trying. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Good evade! Good evade! Pistol that deals higher than two seventy five. Not technically does. don't have that yet. Pretty sure. way more powerful than what I've got. Wait. 
Sonic Assist? Maybe I want to try this. Let, let's let's see what um, Sonic Assist gets me. And on this, we'll also. Also give it a quick load. Also give it force ammo. critical hit bonus. So we'll, we'll make this awesome. Okay? It's a level MPAF at double the level with Sonic Assist that's been upgraded with some parts. So this old one can get the hell out of here. We were still using a level 5 weapon this high up. This is going to be interesting to see how this, uh, see how Sonic Assist does. I have no idea what it does. Oh, new handgun. damage for sure. Also, evade did not work. literally showed up behind me.
Nice. Nice. Good fucking kick. Good fucking kick. Run up. Press right trigger. Get shocked. Get stunned. Then get hit. Then get fucking shocked again. All while trying to kick. Great fucking game. God damn it. This is how it is at this fucking point. I don't know how many how much more I'm even going to play raid mode at all. Like if this is how it's going to be just here, just at the end of the second gauntlet. I I'm I don't I'm starting to think it's not worth my time. get something else substantial raid mode I'm not seeing it being worth it this yeah this fucking encounter right here this absolutely sucks can't even fucking find the enemies They're too fast. They keep hitting me just by running around. Yeah, this this particular gauntlet really sucks. The last one was not... I thought it went this way! What the fuck? Where... I, I don't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, this is shit. This stage is absolute shit. Just stop playing raid mode. This level right here. So many afflicted. 
in such a small space, plus not being able to find revenant weak spots, like not being able to detect them like you normally do within the, within the main story, so you just have to shoot and guess every single limb. Plus the fact of that fucking lightning dog. And then you've got all the tumor faces running around. You shoot the tumor on their face and it creates explosive tumors on the ground and you're still in this small little fucking arena where you have to run around versus fast enemies like the, like the dogs and the afflicted and avoid those fucking things. Like, are you fucking kidding me? This is a bullshit level. This is a bullshit stage. Being able to run around and go to other 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 um, parts of the map, I mean, that's okay. But the thing is, is you can't see where the enemies are. Like, this is really bad. Yeah, there's not even a single zombie. There are no slow enemies in this. There are no slow enemies on this stage. No slow enemies. Plus, it's a pretty small area. Plus, number uh, a number of the enemies have area of effect of, of attacks in this small area while you're still trying to dodge other fast enemies. This level, this fucking stage is bullshit. This stage is bullshit. Let's put it this way. I like Dark Souls, okay? I do. I, I played the hell out of the first one. This is bullshit, okay? This fucking map is bullshit. Last attempt this stream. And if I fail here, I don't know if I'm coming back to raid mode. Can't even hold enough fucking bullets to take down the, the goddamn electric dog. Yeah, this is crap. This is crap. And, oh, oh, and another thing. And, like, all the enemies will spawn spread out. I didn't even know there was an enemy to the left of me. I had looked to the left and there was no fucking health bar. How was I supposed to know that there was an enemy there?
I, I think I'm done with raid mode. This is not fun. This, this stage in particular is bullshit. I don't understand how they could fuck this up so bad. shit. You, you better be the only fucker in here. Need some ammo real fucking shortly. What are you doing? What why did you melee attack? It's electrical. Oh 
Okay, what do I do? How do I beat it now? How? How, Capcom? How do I fucking beat it now? Capcom, you are so full of fucking shit. evade. sucks. That really sucks. In toolbox access. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean toolbox access? Wasn't I already using the toolbox before? <sighs> so I'm going to have to do that again because I didn't get all five. State, what toolbox? What toolbox was was unlocked? I don't even care about the level ones anymore.
Okay, so you didn't unlock the toolbox. You unlocked the ability to unlock the toolbox. Fucking dumb. She unlocks her standard weapon slot at 15 and her shotgun weapon slot at 61. Okay. want you to go back and beat the first one on hard. Xbox One version. lost all enjoyment that um, that last run where you just basically run out of ammo at the end basically killed it it basically killed this for me I was as accurate as I possibly fucking could using a controller See, when, when you do action stuff, you do want ammo to be... But when you do, like, action survival horror, like mercenaries, you do want... Um, 
ammo to be something you have to be wary of. But the thing is, is because of the action element to it, you don't want to deprive your player of being able to kill the enemies as well. Like, you, you should have some way to get more ammo. Like, if all the boxes are depleted, like, you should be able to, like, enemies should drop ammo, for example, like they used to in Resident Evil 4. Like, like have the have the big amounts of ammo be in the boxes, but drop like three bullets or five bullets or eight bullets from from the enemies. You know, just you know, at least a chance of dropping something like that. Um, because I I was out of ammo on that last electrical guy, and that wasn't even the end of the enemies. Like, there, there were still more enemies coming through. And here's the thing. Even if I had those two other weapon slots free... Like, that would just give me two weapons worth of ammunition. Right? It wouldn't... Like, there wouldn't be more boxes in the room to replenish them. It would just be the extra ammo that, that I bring. And if I brought those extra weapons... Then the thing is, is the boxes might be those weapons instead, like the the ammo for those weapons instead, and that might be a less preferable weapon to what I'm trying to to use to defeat them. For example, like magnum ammo. If if I'm fighting a bunch of small enemies, I don't want more magnum ammo for those. You know. So. So this, this mode seems to, um, like, like, they put a lot of time and effort into this mode, but there's things about it that are not fun. <laughs> Hate to break it to Capcom, but, uh, it could have been done better. <laughs> Like this, this isn't a doom level. This, this, it, it's not Resident Evil One. Okay, well, like there, there needs to be a little bit more ammo than what they've provided for for this type of thing. Let's put this another way. Raid mode is not normal difficulty action. Okay? Comparing it to the main story and how they provided their, their ammunition. Their ammunition and herbs and other supplies. So imagine you have all the containers in normal mode, right? Now... In normal mode, there's a lot of containers with ammo and gems and herbs and uh, uh, components to make other items. Now, Just, you know, take all of the boxes that have gems out, right? Take all the boxes that would have gems out throughout a run. You have a couple of dedicated items. Dedicated, like, ammo items. And there's a lot of other containers that have a chance to drop an item instead of a gem. Right? Now, 
bump that up to survival difficulty and all of those chance boxes just become gems. The only items you get, herbs, components, ammo, are what the developers set to be a hundred percent chance of being those items, right? So take that, take survival difficulty, level of ammo scarcity, and apply it to this. This is essentially survival difficulty that's fast paced action. It's that high level of ammo scarcity with fast paced action against tough enemies. That's not fun. That's not fun. You either need to mix in some slow enemies in there, such as zombies or the Iron Head, instead of like the the barrier guys or electrical guys. You need to you need to get the pace of the combat to be able to shift back and forth. If it's all fast all the time, the player's going to make a lot of mistakes, especially if there's if they're playing via controller like I am, right? It's a lot harder to aim on the controller. And on the flip side, on the PC, it can be a lot harder to move because you're using wads instead of, instead of a joystick. For example, wads, you have eight directions to move, right? Forward, backward, left, right, and then diagonals. Well, as you can see, with the controller, you have more than eight directions. You have very subtle directions that you can uh, go in besides the eight that you would get via a D-pad. Right? So controller is better. Joystick is better for moving while computer mouse is better for aiming. Right? So I can see where both people would have trouble. Where, where both PC players and console players would have trouble. So, this lack of supplies with this high level of action is no bueno. And it's no good. I'm going to go ahead and um, look up the raid mode records to see if there's anything that's substantial that you can get or if it just applies to more raid mode. See if there's anything it gives you that uh, goes outside of raid mode. Because if not, I might be done with raid mode. see the list of rewards, but instead the um, the wiki apparently had every single 
um, raid record as its own individual link and page. I want to see the rewards. I'm not sure anybody's got the list. <laughs> I didn't know the first Revelations had a raid mode. I'm in the wrong game. campaign rewards. That's the campaign rewards. I'm not sure anybody's mapped all these out. Gesture, gesture, art, gold. Art, skill points. Gesture, gesture, part. Part, part, part. Toolbox, toolbox. Toolbox, toolbox. Gold, gold, gold. Parts, parts, gestures. Arts Toolbox. Gesture, 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 gesture. Gold, gesture, gold, 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 gold. Part, part, part. 
Yeah, it's 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 all raid mode. So it looks like there's quite literally no reason to continue uh, doing raid mode other than just to for the challenge and to frustrate myself. So we're gonna look at the uh, the tool chest here. Tool access. Wait, so if you combined... Price and you have to pay... Oh my god, you all... Not only do you have to sacrifice your parts, but you have to sacrifice raid mode gold in order to sacrifice your parts for the more powerful item. Well done. Capcom taking taking in-game microtransactions <laughs> with in-game currency to a whole new level. Oh my god. Every little you wanna do you wanna fart, you gotta pay raid mode gold, okay? Wow. Yeah, um, I'm done. I, I'm done with raid mode. That, uh, that casino level sealed it. All right, well. That sucks. I mean, I, I did have fun with this, but, um, But raid mode, holy shit. It's like it's designed. Oh my god. I know what raid mode is. Raid mode is capitalism simulator. Holy shit. That raid mode is capitalism simulator. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is an amazing analogy. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I have a little bit of work to do today, so I, I need to go um, do do some vacuuming in preparation for potentially saving a mattress that's been outside for over a year at this point. Under tarps, of course, but. There was some concerning damage um, that it had from where we moved from because the house we were previously living in apparently had its own issues. And those issues attached itself to the mattress in the form of black mold. So, black mold um, isn't as toxic as, uh, as, 
as people say, but people can be deathly uh, allergic to it, just like, you know, peanut butter or bee stings. And it's also a general health hazard if it's get if it gets to a certain degree. But it's it's nowhere near the um, the the level of danger that people make it out to be. It's just. As, as long as whatever has it on it um, stays dry, it's fine. Um, thing is, is um, it is such a pervasive thing. Um, if water touches the spores, the spores turn into black mold. The black mold can be killed, but if the black mold produces more spores, then that's an issue. Um, uh, another thing to keep in mind is um, if you touch black mold that's been sitting there, the spores just poof out of it and spread, right? Now, the other thing to take note is the spores can essentially survive without water indefinitely. They, they can survive for hundreds of years. Right? Maybe thousands. Um, they do not die from dehydration, such as from direct sunlight. They would literally need to be cooked out of existence okay getting rid of black mold by getting rid of all of your items is not going to get rid of black mold from the place even if you have like a like if you've ever had black mold and you know you've had to take everything out had to replace some things in the house your house still has black mold okay it's 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 going to be there <laughs> it's going to be there demolishing a home and building a new one, your new home is going to have black mold most likely because it is that per pervasive. Um, if you have a clean home, you say, I don't have black mold. You have black mold. Shut up. <laughs> okay? It is that pervasive. You might not notice you have black mold. You might not see black mold in your home because you have such a small amount of it or it's in a place that you don't notice, or it's in a place that you can't clean or don't clean, but just about everybody has some level of black mold in their homes. Just, just putting that out there. So we just need to see if the black mold on the mattress is to the level of not being salvageable. And then we just need to salvage it. Otherwise, we're not going to have a choice but to take it to the landfill. So, yeah, that's fun. I'm hoping that the worst case scenario would be being able to tear off some of the covering and saving the actual box springs. Like getting rid of the top mattress but saving the box springs, uh, potentially uh, cutting off parts of the mattress cover and, and putting patches on. I'm hoping that's going to be like the worst case scenario. Best case scenario is the actual damage isn't as bad as we originally thought. Or perhaps the, the black markings are not actually black mold, but something like grease stains, for example. 
ground dirt stains into the mattress. Like dust that's been ground back and forth in the mattress because of where it was located. Um, yeah. It's, uh, there's no telling until we uncover it. So I'm gonna go do some vacuuming house and uh, make a space for it just in case it is salvageable. And if not, that's a $2,000 mattress and box springs. Bye bye. time that mattress was the only thing my mom could lay on because her back was so messed up. So I, I'm really hoping that she will still be able to use it. Because it had helped her tremendously. Anyway. Um, that's it for now. I'm gonna go. Got crap to do. Yeah. Whoa. Bed spring. <laughs>